here. Mathematics is just about numbers and finding x. But today, I will tell you a little bit about how we can see the future using mathematics. Now in this room, I can be almost 100% sure that we all have different body size. Unfortunately, this is not only observed among us human beings. Have you ever wondered why animals in our environment grow to different body sizes even when they're in the same environment? Well, I have. And I really thank those who have spent sleepless nights and days in the bush observing how animals behave. They have been able to tell us the rate at which different animals reproduce, what they eat, how they die, and lots of other factors and, and mechanisms that affect those animals' body sizes. And now as a mathematician, I listen to their story and then write mathematical equations that capture as much of their story as possible. And once these mathematical equations are in place, I just explain them to the computer, and then the computer generates communities that behave just like those that are observed in our neighborhood. Now the unfortunate thing is, some of the facts these observers give to us are only valid in specific conditions. And for example, when the temperature changes, some of them do change. And one of these is called the handling time. Now handling time is the time it takes one individual animal to catch, to eat, and to digest its food. And generally, if you really take a long time to handle your food, most likely you will eat less and you will not be able to build your body to full, full capacity. And Using my mathematical equation, I've actually discovered exactly the same result. That when the handling time increases, the body size of the individuals reduces. But there is one specific value of the handling time that is very interesting. That beyond this value, there is a very sharp or drastic decrease in the body size. In the case of fish, say, from this size to this one. Now, if you have a fish pond at home, you do not want to go to the pond expecting to get this size of fish only to find this. Yet, mathematics tells us that this is most likely to happen if the temperature changes. And maybe that explains why some fish farmers in South Africa <coughs> and some other countries have started practicing indoor fish farming because then they can control the temperature of the fish pond and therefore produce the fish of the body size that they appreciate. Now, I was once asked by parents whether I have never learned to count since I started, started schooling. Definitely, mathematics is not just about counting. It makes use of the past, describes our present, and takes us to different futures depending on whether certain conditions change 